Hello and welcome again everyone to another video and some news just dropped and they are adding Reggie Drago, Reggie Drago, Reggie Drago into, into the elite raids. It's replacing the Hoopa. So technically they get rid of a useless Pokemon that does nothing. So um, into another Pokemon that seems that doesn't do anything. You know what? Let's just read the, the news. So Reggie Drago arrives into elite raids. Uh, what is elite raids? Those raids are special raids on, on, on Saturday where you have to go and do it uh, in person. There's no way you can do it uh, remotely so far. And there is some uh, featured spawns that will start spawning after the raid. Usually stuff like Wulu and some other spawns. So usually like we do them because we want to get a wolo for the great league or ultra league 100 but it's the thing for ultra league it's just you just need a hundo so the good thing about doing them if you can you go you do them and then there's like the special spawns which is like stuff that are actually good for pvp so that's like another reason why people should do the elite raids it's technically a new form of x raid if ex raid if you were doing ex raid back in 2019 2018 uh, Reggie Drigo makes its debut in in, in, po in, in in Pokemon Go in Elite Raids. It will be hatching the following time, March 11 at 1 and 2 and 5, your local time. Uh, there will be an exclusive research who then will complete an Elite Raid. So you have to do an Elite Raid to get this. So uh, what does the, ex the research do? We don't know yet. So we still need to know, need to wait until... It's live and then we will see whether the research is worth it or not. Uh, this time research can be received once. Complete a research task to earn Reggie Raw candy, Reggie Ice candy. Who cares about candy? I can just use uh, candies. Niantic, please do something more creative. Like, 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 if I'm going there, give me something that is worth going there. Don't just be like, oh, I'm going to give you like Reggie candy. I don't care about candy. I can just walk it to get candy. I can just use rare candies to get candy. Or I can raid them to get candy. Give me like a higher chance to get rare XL candy. How about that? Uh, what are elite raids? Elite raids are basically a challenge variety of raid battles. They appear from research. Some special raid egg that takes 24 hours to hatch. Once the raid egg hatch, a raid boss will appear for 30 minutes. But takes... But take note that elite raid bosses can only be battled in person. Gather your friends and prepare for an epic confrontation. Defeat Reggie Drago in elite raid. You will earn the op an opportunity to catch it. Uh, remember, Trainer will not be able to participate using remote passes. So you can't use remote passes. Now, how good is Reggie Drago? Well, I looked up PokemonGame.info and... Well, first time when I saw this Pokemon, I thought like it's a, it's like a Mega Mewile or something. I swear, I didn't play the main series game, so I don't know about anything that's not gen Generation One or Generation Two. Okay, let me just fix the screen here. Okay, that's better. So it's a dragon, technically weak to Ice Dragon and Fairy. It resists resist the starters and Electric. Uh, Move set. So far, it only learned Bite, Outrage, Dragon Pulse, and Hyper Beam. That's so bad. That's so bad, like... <laughs> I don't know. I uh, moveset is not like... It's not like something I would consider... Like, usually moveset is the old, the first reason I would consider to read something. So if it has a moveset, that's like one reason to not do it. But, you know... Stuff around its spawn. Now, how about the CP? Well, for level 20, it's around 1700, which means... There is a very few chance you will get one that's eligible for the Great League if you trade for like zero friendship. I don't think it's... I think it's possible with like one or two percent. Uh, the level 15 one though is eligible. Now the stats is like it's HP weighted. It has no defense. What does that mean? You know like Drift Bloom? That's like... This is like something like a Drift Bloom. High attack, low defense, high HP. That means it's kind of bulky, but you need to land an icy wind first to make it as bulky, to, ma to, to make some benefit from the uh, from the stamina. Uh, but the thing is, this thing does not learn icy wind, so I still don't see a reason why they wouldn't give it. But here's something to mention: this Pokemon does not learn lock on, so technically lock on is not an option. So the only way this Pokemon could be viable, let's check Pulpapedia. 
dragon what dragon moves does this pokemon learn uh, okay it learns dragon breath dragon claw dragon dance dragon energy dragon pulse dragon claw outrage so technically you need a pure dragon moveset to make it viable which mean uh, stuff that spawn in the wild are still better there's nothing unique about this pokemon other than just releasing a new pokemon so that yeah that's it this is a short video if you guys liked it if you like the video please consider sub uh, please leave a like if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and see you in the next video peace